Welcome from Marburg University. Behind me, you can see our students working in class. A typical scenario in our award-winning teaching and learning concept of the inverted classroom in its mastery variant. Digital content for self-guided learning in phase one and collaborative work and practicals in the subsequent in-class phase. And in between, well, we have our worksheets with which you can show mastery. But let's leave our students now and let's concentrate on the Morphology and Syntax course for prospective teachers of English. So, here we are. Let us now look at the course content and the syllabus of our Morphology and Syntax class for prospective teachers of English. Let's briefly introduce our educational strategy and list the requirements for the class credits. Prior to this, I would like to answer a frequently asked question. Is our class a massive open online course, a so-called MOOC, or not? Well, straightforwardly, this class is not a MOOC. It may well be massive. That is, we may have more than 150 participants. And the class can also be done online but it's not open to anyone. Since the class involves credits symbolized by this small hat over here. And these credits can only be awarded if you're a student at our university, at Marburg University. In which case you have to take part in a final exam here in Marburg. However, there's also another possibility. The morphology and syntax class can also be studied online. So we do allow online students to take part. However, they have to pay fees and will, among others, be evaluated on the basis of an additional written term paper. But before you register as an online student, please contact us to sort out any questions and queries via our email address info at linguistics-online.com. So the standard case is that on-campus students here at Marburg University will constitute the vast majority of class participants. Let's now look at the class itself. It consists of 13 content units and is subdivided into two central parts. The first part is dedicated to morphology where we will investigate the fundamental concepts such as morphological operations and processes using examples from English and other languages and will then look at the various word formation options in present-day English. Present-day English syntax constitutes the second part of this class. After a discussion of the central concepts such as form versus function, we will look at verbs, at nouns, at noun phrases, including special aspects of subject and object selection in present-day English. Prior to the content units, we have our class preliminaries, which inform you about the content of the class and provide video-based advice of how to cope with our educational model, which, as many of you know already, is that of the inverted classroom. Now, this educational model swaps the two central phases of teaching and learning. Content delivery and content acquisition are now self-guided and online, and the subsequent in-class phase is dedicated to practicing and deepening. In other words, we supply you with the content via our e-learning units on the Virtual Linguistics Campus, and you go through the content on your own, and then we meet in class to practice and solve questions. Well, and this is what our in-class scenarios actually look like. They are dedicated to practicing, to solving tasks, and to discussions of your questions. And as you can see here, I am at your service. I'm your guide on the side, I'm your tutor, and the addressee of your questions. I'm always ready to help you and to support you when you solve the in-class tasks.
frontal teaching has now become highly exceptional and obsolete. Because content acquisition, well, that's your task. And the content you are given in phase one is a combination of everything. Highly interactive multimedia content, the so-called virtual sessions, electronic lectures, that is, video clips that have an average length of 15 minutes and can be accessed from the virtual sessions or separately via our YouTube channel. And last but not least, our workbooks. They supply you with the text material and give you the opportunity to supplement the text with the online content. To make sure that you have mastered the content prior to the in-class meeting, we have added one formative test, a so-called worksheet, to each e-learning unit. If you pass this test, you have demonstrated mastery, and we know that you will attend the in-class meeting well prepared. If not, well, if not, you can do the test again until you pass. Or, well, something we do not really appreciate, you can even attend the in-class meetings without special preparation. With this award-winning inverted classroom mastery model, we make sure that a maximum number of students attend the in-class meeting well prepared. By the way, the average mastery level in our on-campus classes is around 70%. That is, 70% of our students attend the in-class phase well prepared. A really high value. To summarize, our educational scenarios consist of two phases. The self-guided online phase of content delivery and content acquisition and the in-class phase of practicing, deepening, discussion and so on. In between we have our formative tests, the so-called worksheets or if you wish the mastery worksheets. Finally, let's talk about the class requirements. The class involves six credits. In Europe, Credits are awarded in accordance with the European Credit Transfer System and are referred to as ECTS points, where one ECTS is awarded for a workload of roughly 25 to 30 hours. The six ECTS or the six credits of our Morphology and Syntax class will be awarded for regular participation and involvement, plus the following tasks and contributions. We expect that you submit 13 mastery worksheets, that is the formative tests of our inverted classroom mastery model, two graded worksheets and one analysis project. In addition to this we want you to write a final exam which is of course an electronic exam or if you are a remote online student you have to submit a term paper. Well, that's it. I hope that I could provide you with the necessary information about our morphology and syntax class for prospective teachers of English. I'm sure that you will enjoy the class and that you will like our teaching concept. So I'm looking forward to welcoming you on the Virtual Linguistics Campus and to seeing you in our lively in-class meetings. Until then, have a nice time.